Assessing the damage. So what we have here is a Futures fin box that, that suffered a bit of damage. It doesn't look like it was blown out all the way, but we're going to put a fin in it and check it out. If you look real closely towards the back of the box, you can see some movement in just the back of the box. However, there is damage to the front right upper side and the back side of the box. If you look closely, you can see it move. So we're going to check the other fin angle, which is about 7 degrees. Check this fin angle, and it looks like it's at 7 degrees as well. So it hasn't been moved off angle, which means we can work with the box as is. Prep work. So we're going to use an 8 inch hard pad with 60 grit abrasive. What we're going to do here is basically sand off any high spots, weak spots, and just basically the hot coat and get it back down to the weave. We're going to cut away any loose parts because we want to make sure those are out of the way so when we lay our cloth again, we're getting right back down to solid fiberglass. Cut that away. And it seems like there's a little bit of a high spot or soft spot right towards the bottom of the box right there, so we're going to sand that off. Since it's a purple tint, it's going to go back down to the foam, but that's okay. We want structure over aesthetics. As you can see, we open it up, and now everything's solid around that little soft spot again. We're going to tape off the box. And we're going to tape off the rail so no resin will drip over the side and wrap onto the deck. And we're just going to put a little fold in it so any resin will drip right off onto the ground. And we're going to tape off the box because we're going to do a little purple tint just right onto the foam just so uh, it looks a little bit better. And that way we don't get any purple tint on the yellow box. Just going to trim the tape off right there, pull it up, and now we have a quick little tape off job. going to mix up a small batch of epoxy resin to alusine, it's 2 to 1 ratio, and add a little bit of the purple tint, and just drop some right onto the foam, laminating. So we cut two patches, one smaller and one larger. The smaller one's going to lay down first with the larger patch over top. We're mixing up 20 cc's of resin and 10 cc's of hardener, which gives us 30 cc's total. Make sure you mix it really well, and we're going to go ahead and just let the resin saturate. The alizine saturates really easily on its own, as you can see, I'm just spreading it across the fiberglass and it soaks right in, no problem. As you can see, we have it nice and tight with no air bubbles, everything's saturated and there's no pools of resin left on the fiberglass. Blending. Now we're just going to blend the cloth back into the board that we sanded. We're using the 8 inch hard pad with 60 grit again. And we're just going to focus on the high edges and any high spots in general. Just going to go ahead and knock it down nice and flat. Doing this prep work is going to make the hot coat that much easier to sand out and finish nicely. Going to sand on edge and just open up the box a little bit. Get that tape off there. get our blade and peel the tape right off, no problem at all. Want to make sure to get any loose pieces of tape around the edge because we're going to re-tape for the hot coat. If there's any loose pieces and the tape lifts up, then you're going to get resin directly in the box and you're going to have a little bit harder of a time getting that out of there. Sanding coat. 
So we're just gonna mix up 10 cc's of resin, five cc's of hardener, which gives us 15 cc's total. It's a really small amount, because it's a really small job, and this stuff goes pretty far. And since we did such a good job blending the cloth, we really don't need to put that much resin on. As you can see, we're just spreading it on very thin. Just getting it on there, and then we're gonna do our nice, light weight of the brush drag, as you've seen in our previous videos. Just get it all nice and smooth, and the resin's gonna flow out perfectly. Sanding. So, we're gonna cut with an eight inch medium flex pad with 150 grit on it. This initial sand's basically just gonna take off the shiny coat. We're gonna use the eight inch medium flex pad with 220 grit to start to blend the edges back into the board. And as you can see, it's gonna blend really nicely because we did all that prep work. Generally, I'd go with like a 320 grit, but I had 400 grit on hand. So the next step, we're gonna use the eight inch medium flex pad with 400 grit wet dry. We're gonna do this part with a dry sand and just get everything all around the edges. Just get everything overlapped nice and blended. And then we're gonna go ahead, remove the tape, which as you can see comes out really easily. Kind of clean up the edges and then we're gonna come back and do a little bonus 400 grit wet sand just because it always adds a nice little touch. And we're gonna put the fin back in the box, make sure it fits, and we're good to go. Board's ready to get back in the water.